I'm about to play Zelda, Phantom Hourglass. I felt that the DS has always been kind of lacking since launch. It sort of feels like an overclocked Game Boy. I think that this game would really sort of start to elevate it and bring it into new territory. Something that's a little more entertaining, something that's a little more, not necessarily three-dimensional, but a little more current generation gameplay. So, I'm looking forward to it. I enjoyed it. It plays like a three-dimensional Zelda. It's more isometric 3D, kind of, over the head. It reminds me of somewhere between the Super Nintendo generation of Zelda and the Nintendo 64 generation of Zelda, which you could say for a lot of DS games, but I really enjoyed it. I started in the Hyrule field playing the classic Zelda music, which was a nice touch. Look at that Zelda music. Nice. Right around, killed a couple of Octoroks, and then there was a little dungeon that I walked into, and there was a strange symbol on the wall that I had to trace a logo onto. Z. You uh, think? Zelda? Yeah. I figured it would have been a Z, however that wasn't correct. Maybe not. And I looked around, I wasn't able to locate it, but I found the first of five stones that were needed for that puzzle. And then after that point, that was pretty much the end of the demo, so I don't think they had it all laid out there. I like it. I do feel a bit strange not holding the controller in my hands and using the buttons. However, using the stylus, use the stylus to move as well as attack. You want to attack a monster, you double click them. You want to talk to a non-player character, you d tap on the character, you do a little double tap. So it sort of has a PC point and click kind of feel as well, which I thought was cool. It's a nice touch for Zelda. They said it comes out the fourth quarter. I definitely want to pick it up. You know, I was already sold on the concept of getting it before I came here, and now I'm just more convinced.